let's take another example over here i have a rod which is kept on two inclined planes okay one is at an angle 30 other is at an angle 60 degrees okay there are two forces acting on this rod okay a 100 newton force and a 200 newton force some distances are given to me I know that the coefficient of static friction is 0 0.5 for all the surfaces okay I am supposed to find out what is the minimum distance x at which I can apply this 200 Newton force so that my rod starts sliding okay obviously the minimum distance would be at the instant when the motion is impending okay when let's suppose this portion starts sliding in this direction and this portion starts sliding in this direction at that instant i am going to get my x minimum look when you have friction related problem you would be given mu s okay and mu s you only can use when you have the instant of impending motion so generally in friction related problem you would be asked to find out f min or f max okay or d min or d max obviously all these instances would be related to the instant when the motion is just about to happen okay wherein you could use your f is equal to mu s n equation okay so over here we are looking at the instant when this rod starts sliding just about to start sliding and we are going to create a fbd at that instant let me just copy this i have it over here and now we are going to create the fbd i'll just take this off okay this angle is given to me as 30 degrees so now since we are assuming that this portion starts sliding this way and this portion starts sliding this way therefore at this point you are going to have a this way frictional force okay this is your frictional force at this point let us call this as f1 and you are going to have a normal at this point let us call this as n1 okay similarly since this portion starts to slide upwards we are going to have a frictional force in this direction at this point okay and we are going to have a normal reaction at this like this okay so let us call this as n2 let us call this as f2 okay is there any other force acting on this no we have just 100 newton and 200 newton force that is acting on this rod look the weight of the rod is not given therefore we are assuming it is weightless or the weight is very small as compared to other forces over here so that's the FBD of my rod when the motion is just about to happen. So this is my FBD at the instant of impending motion. Okay. Impending motion. And at that instant I have my X min okay now let's use our equations i have got two equations which are going to be f2 is equal to mu s n2 i've got another equation which is f1 is equal to mu s n1 okay these two equations i already know how many unknowns do we have i have f1 which is unknown n1 which is unknown n2 which is unknown f2 which is unknown and x min which is unknown so basically i have five unknowns i have two of these equations and i'll get three more equations by mr is equal to zero uh, 